Hey you guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make Sims 4 custom content hair recolors. If you are not sure of how to create custom content, I have a video explaining the basics. So if you aren't sure, I will leave that link in the description and that will tell you everything that you need and how to get started. Today I'm going to be focusing on hair recolors. So what you will need is the Sims 4 Studio and a photo editor of your choice but make sure that it can save DDS files so I'm going to get started here with Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna go and make a new file and I'm just gonna name this one hair recolors and you want the size to be 256 by 256 it doesn't really matter but you don't want it to be too big because the bigger the file size is the more laggy it'll be in game so I'm just gonna go with this and we're just going to go ahead and do that and now you can make whatever hair color you want. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do a basic dark brown hair. So what you will wanna do is choose one color that is a dark brown, and then you're gonna wanna choose another color that will be like the highlights. And this could be, again, any color, but if you want it to look natural, then it should be a lighter brown color. So that's what I'm going to start off with. I'm just going to switch this so the dark brown is on the top and I'm gonna to go to the paint bucket and fill that in. Now I'm gonna switch these colors again so that the lighter color is on top. And we're gonna go here to filter, noise, add noise. Here you can see there's noise and you can change this however you like, but I personally prefer around 19%. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna go over here to the brush tool and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to just mark that all the way down and again down here hold shift and go all the way down and now I'm gonna go to filter brush strokes and sprayed strokes so you're gonna click that and you're gonna want this sprayed strokes I have the stroke length and the spray radius all the way to the right and you're gonna want the stroke direction to be vertical so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then you're gonna wanna go here again to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And you're gonna want the angle to be 90 degrees so that it's vertical like hair. And then you can play around with the distance to how you would like. Personally, I think something around here looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So now I'm gonna make a new layer. And what you can do is you can add white. And the reason I'm doing this is to add a little bit of highlights. So I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller and we're just going to just fill that in really quickly. And now I'm gonna go to filter and we're gonna do this motion blur again. And now I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna go to soft light. So now it adds a slight shine. You could also change the opacity so it's not as harsh. So something like that. And now you can go here, right click and go to duplicate layer, press okay. And then we can just move that down a little bit so it's something around here. And then you can also add shadows. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of this one and we're going to make this a little bit darker. So something like that. And then you can just hold shift once again, fill this in. You can do it in the middle and then you can do it on the top. And again, we're going to go to filter motion blur. So it should look something like that. And then we can go to soft light. Once again, you can change the opacity a little bit so it doesn't look as harsh. Now our hair looks something like that. Personally, I'm not too fond with how harsh the highlight looks. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit less. So something like that. And there we go. So that is a basic hair texture. Now I'm going to save this and we're going to save as and again, like I said, you want to make sure you save it as a DDS and you will want these settings. So I will just leave this here. Again, if you're not sure, I do have a video explaining all of this and I will link that in the description. So now we have that saved. So what you're going to want to do is open up the Sims 4 Studio and we're going to go over here to create a sim, create, create a sim standalone. So we're going to go over here. And now it's going to load everything that is in your Sims game. So now I'm going to just focus on a female hair. So I'm going to go here to female. I'm going to go to adult and we're going to go here to hair. So now it'll show all the female hairs and I'm just going to choose this one. 
and now you can save it to however you want your file to be saved. I'm just going to name it hair recolors and now you can see this hair is here. So what you will want to do now is you're going to want to export this texture. That way we can recolor this. So export once again, hair recolor. Okay, so it saved it over here. So now what you're going to want to do is open that up and you're just going to want to click OK. So now this is the original hair texture. So we're going to make our hair texture and now I'm just going to merge all of these layers. And now I'm going to press Control A, Control C. And we're going to go over here and then I'm going to press Control V. So now our hair texture is here. So I'm just going to put that in the corner over here and I'm going to hold shift and then just cover that all up. Let's just make sure that it covered it up. There's still a little bit showing so I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay so now it's completely covered the original hair. So now we can save this as a DDS like I said and we're just going to name it this for the sake of this tutorial. Again these are the settings. Save that and then we can go back over here. We're going to import our new texture and now you can see this is what the retextured hair looks like so as you can see it does look slightly different from the original this looks to me it looks a little more brown and in the game itself it looks like a very light brown so like I said it's trial and error and you can change the size of the highlights and the size of the shadows and you can also go over here and we can change the hue and saturation so we can make it more saturated, so maybe it's a more of a golden brown. Maybe we can change it to green <laughs> or red or whatever color you want over here. So I'm just going to play around. Let's make a red. So here we go. We have that. Now I'm going to save this again. And I'm going to save this under DDS. And there we go. So now we're going to go back over here. What you will want to do is you're going to add a swatch. So this is the new swatch. So now we're going to import our new texture. And there we go. Now we have a red hair. And you can also change the thumbnail color. So for this hair, we can change it to something like that. So that should be good. And our original is still here. So you can change the swatch for this one as well. But this one looks pretty similar. So I'm just going to leave it. All right, so now let's make a different one. So we can go back over here to adjustments, hue, saturation, and we can make, let's make a dark brown, I think. We can make this a little bit darker, maybe something like that. And let's just go ahead and save that. Okay, and we're going to go back over here. We're going to add a new swatch, and then we're going to import. And there we go. That looks more of like a nice medium brown color. So that's what this one looks like. And let me just zoom this in for you guys so you can see a little more in detail what it looks like. So it's not exactly the best looking hair, but um, this is just what I know back in the IMVU days. I used to be an IMVU developer about 10 years ago. So this is very old school, but I hope you guys find this helpful anyway. So this is what this one looks like. And again, we can change the thumbnail colors. So once you're happy with the hair colors that you've created, we're going to go over here to save. Now our package has been saved and it's saved as hair recolors. It's going to be saved as whatever you originally saved it as. So now we have our new hair recolor. So I'm going to put this in my game and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm in create a sim and I didn't make a custom thumbnail. That is something that you can do. But since we're here, I'm going to show you anyway. So this is the one that I made. So this is what the hair looks like. Here is the brown color and the red color over here. So as you can see, it does take some trial and error. For example, this hair would be better if I made the highlights a little bit smaller. So you can change it around however you like, depending on the type of hair and what it looks like. And just continue changing it as needed. So this is what the first hair color looks like that we made. So now what you can do is you can take a bunch of screenshots in the game and then you can use those to make custom thumbnails. So now you can do a bunch of poses in create a sim and create some photos that you might like. So something like that. And now you have your screenshots. So now we can make our custom thumbnails. All right, so basically it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a perfect square. So we're just going to do the same thing here. Now we can open our screenshots, my documents. 
Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and Screenshots. And they should be over here. So now I'm just going to do this really quickly. And I'm going to control V. We're going to control T because that's definitely too big. So I'm going to do something like this. Just make sure the entire hair is in the shot and just enlarge it as much as possible so it's actually visible. So there we go. There's your custom thumbnail for that one. So I'm going to save this. I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. Okay, so then we're going to import that and we're going to import that there. So this is going to be our thumbnail. So I'm going to go over here to this color, import that one, and we're going to import that one right there. So these are going to be our thumbnail colors. So I'm going to save that. Also, if you're interested in different types of recolors, such as clothing, I can show you guys how to change the opacity, how to change the length of certain clothes without actually creating a brand new mesh. There are plenty of options that you can do with just recoloring that I feel should be considered custom content. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.